wondering what a fen is. A fen is a wetland saturated by either groundwater or surface water. It has high mineral level content, which means it can support a wide variety of plant and animal life. Fens are an important part of a watershed because they reduce the risk of floods, they improve drinking water, and they are a unique habitat for many plants and animals. Fins are found mostly in the northern hemisphere. They've been documented in 38 out of the 50 states, from the northeast to the Great Lakes, to the Rocky Mountains, the Sierra Nevadas, and up into Canada, where low temperatures, high precipitation, and high humidity cause excessive accumulation of moisture. Fens take up about 3% of the Earth's land surface and 10% of the Earth's fresh water. In Sierra Nevada, it receives a large amount of precipitation, so it's a good area to find peatland ecosystems. Here at Sage Hen, um, it's actually one of the very few documented and researched fens in Sierra Nevada. Because of the nature and structure of a fen, water gets filtered through the several different layers of saturated ground. It is such a thick filter that it actually improves water quality. One thing that I should mention about fens is that there are two types, rich fens and poor fens. Rich fens commonly have a pH of 6 to 8, they're high in calcium, and they're low in nutrients. Poor fens are much more acidic and much less nutrient rich. Bogs are acidic, which is why the poor fen is commonly known as a transitional bog. In conclusion, fens are ill-supplied with drinkable water due to the varying pH and nutrients not commonly found in fen water. While fens may be the perfect habitats for many species of plant life, fen water is not typically suitable for human consumption. You might be wondering what types of plants and animals a fen is home to. A fen is home to a variety of bird species, insect species, and other small animals. Some animals that you might find here include the woodcock, the roe deer, dragonflies, damselflies, and bumblebees to name a few. <laughs> Some plant species that you might find here include peat moss, bottle sedge, and meadow sweet. All right, so this is a basic how to build a fen. You basically take a two liter bottle of water, cut it in half, take a screwdriver, drill some holes in the bottom of it so the water can get through. Then next we're going to start with our bottom layer which is the bedrock which will be de demonstrated by these little rocks. Next layer will have dirt and gravel and then last but not least the soil slash peat layer. So I'm going to take the rocks, start piling them in, just like that. Next I'm going to take the dirt and soil gravel, pour that in. And then last but not least, we'll do the soil and peat. Then what you do, you submerge it in a pan of water and you'll see, you'll see the soil being uh, saturated by the water. or not, you take it out of the water, you set it down, and use your finger, and if you can see, it's fully saturated. Water's coming through the surface, just like a regular fin when you step on it.